So it's finally here. Apple introduced the nano texture display on the new M4 MacBook Pro. And of course, plenty of people are now deciding, is it worth the extra money to go for the nano texture display? Or should you just go and keep the regular glossy display? Let me show you exactly in different conditions why you should or why you shouldn't pay the extra for the new nano texture display on MacBook Pro. <laughs> Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of both MacBooks with the different displays in just a normal condition in my house here. As you can see, obviously already on the left, we have the glossy normal MacBook Pro one. And here we have the new MacBook Pro with the nano texture display option. And with regular daylight, you can see the difference here. This is almost like a mirror. And here you can see like almost no reflection at all. Also, let me show you how this looks with different wallpapers. Let me swipe to another one, a more dark wallpaper here. So as you can see here, especially when it comes to the dark parts of the screen, you can see the reflections. Just look at that here, my hand here on the bottom and here is absolutely nothing. Let's go to another wallpaper, a bit more brighter. Just like that, you can see actually no reflection on the nano texture display. And here you can see like a little bit of reflection right there. And lastly, let me also show you how this looks using a light in different temperatures. Let's turn this little boy on. It's like that, just normal light. And as you can see here, it's like almost a mirror on the non nano textured display. And here, almost nothing. How crazy is that? As you can see, mirror, nothing. Now let's also go to the other wallpapers again with the light. So you can see it a bit more here with darker wallpapers and darker settings. And here it's just like a mirror, especially look here in the bottom with the dark parts. Also a bit, but as you can see, it's more soft. Last one with the light. See the lights more distributed on a nano texture display. And here it's just like a mirror. Now let's change the temperature with this uh, lost uh, wallpaper. So let's make it warmer. Like that, a bit warmer. Non nano texture, nano texture. Let's make it a more blue, non nano texture, nano texture. Okay, so here's when I believe you should get a nano texture display and when it's not important for you to get it. First, as you have seen, the glare and reflections are significantly reduced on the nano texture display. And this is great for people, maybe photographers or digital artists who are outdoors, who are traveling a lot, where they don't have a lot of control of the lighting. I believe for these people, the extra money is definitely worth the upgrade to a nano texture display for the MacBook Pro. Also, people who work a lot with colors, like for example, graphic designers, I believe the nano texture display option is a good solution for them because it better represents the actual colors, thus making their work more accurate. And lastly, when you're a coder and you need to work for hours staring at the screen all the time, the nano texture display can really reduce eye strain, can really put some ease on your eyes. So in my opinion, it's also worth for these people to upgrade to the new nano texture display play on MacBook Pro. I hope this comparison was beneficial for you and provided you additional information you needed to make the right decision whether you should go with a nano texture display MacBook Pro or not. See you in the next one. Peace.